I call it the U rule. And it goes like this. In business writing, you is always singular. Every business writer on the planet violates the U rule from time to time, but obey it and your writing will improve overnight. Our first example is the final draft of an educational product launch. The copy was intended for both web and direct mail. Looks like this. Leads the way in which teachers interact with students, technology, and mathematics. Now, as always, I'll copy and paste. So I have a way of checking to see if my edit is actually improving what I originally had. Now, it should be fairly obvious to you that the way to fix this with the U rule is to take the plural generic word teachers and change it to you leads the way in which you interact with students, technology, and mathematics. Remember, the you rule says that in your business writing, you, the reader, is always singular. Now, I'd like to do one more thing while we're here, uh, which is not necessarily the you rule, but more general editing. Uh, leads the way in which you interact. Well, why don't we just say helps you interact with students, technology, and mathematics, and this takes us down to eight words, much more direct promise of a benefit. Now, here's another line from the same piece. Raises expectations for student achievement from the first year of school. And this is 11 words. Now, how would we go about fixing this with regard to the U rule? In this case, we have to add a word, and I think you can probably guess what word it's going to be. Instead of raising general expectations, we want to tell our reader that we are going to raise your expectations. In this case, we've increased the word count from 11 to 12, but I think you'll agree that we have improved the focus of this. Now, our last example is a bit trickier, a bit more complicated. It reads like this. Stepping Stones is the next generation mathematics program for Australian students and teachers, delivered at a time when it is needed most. And this has 22 words. The most direct and basic way we could apply the U rule here is pretty obvious. Instead of Australian students and teachers, we talk about you and your students. Again, we haven't affected the word count at all. It's still 22 words, but I think you can see that we have moved it from a general, impersonal address, just a statement about Australian students and teachers, to a much warmer, more personal, more emotionally involving category, you and your students. But I want to show you something that we can also do with the you rule, which is a bit subtler delivered at a time when it is needed most. Now, one of the things we say about the U rule, more broadly defined, is that we should write not about our product or service, but about the reader, the reader's life. Instead of saying that our product is needed, we should talk about who needs it. And in this case, it's pretty simple, they were at a time when you need it most. Now, once again, the word count is not affected, but we have honed in on the reader as the reason we're doing what we do. And having made this change, I think you can see that we could probably come up here and delete you and, 
uh, and make this the uh, mathematics program, the next generation mathematics program for your students to live at a time when you need it most. It's a little bit, little bit uh, cleaner there. And that, in fact, brings us down to 20 words. Now, one more thing I think we can do is take a look at this. Delivered at a time when you need it most. There is actually a sharper, punchier, more dramatic way of saying that, which is just when you need it most. And this takes us down to 17 words. And there you have the U rule. In business writing, U is always singular. And another way of saying this is the three most important people in business writing are you, you, and you. And they are all one person.